Hi everyone, I hope you all are doing great in your life. So today we will see how we can change this messy Excel data into this formatted sheet in just 10 steps and in just 10 minutes. And how we are going to do it, we will see in this video. Step 1. Auto fit rows and columns. So this Excel file could be downloaded from the description box below. Here we see the messed up data. You can see the date. And here you see the row width and the column width are not equal as we need it. So first uh, step it would be to auto fit the rows and columns. But before that, what we will do is we will drag this sheet to another sheet with control drag. So we are going to name this sheet as clean data. And now we are going to perform our data cleaning exercise. Press Alt H O I and the columns are auto fit. Now rows Alt H O A. Now the rows are also auto fit. This looks better. Step 2 find and replace. So now you can see the client names are in bracket and we want to remove those things that is written in bracket. So to do that we will go to the find and select option and we will go to the replace all option and replace the, the thing that is in bracket with the blank and click on OK. Step 3 upper and lower case. As you can see all of the client names are written in this uh, upper case and we want to change them into lower case. So to do that we will insert one more column with control shift plus. And here the column is ready we will name it as client and we will use the formula which is lower and use the text under client select this and we see it is changed into lowercase and we will drag it till down so next step is to delete the column C but if we delete the column C we will have one more error which is a reference error because we have taken values from the column C. So what we will do is we will paste these values as special values with Alt H plus VV. So now if we try deleting these values in the column C it won't affect. We have copied the values in the column D and pasted it as Alt H plus VV. So here you go. Step 4 is trim and proper. So we will use trim and proper function. Let's select the column D and we can see the values like this uneven spacing and uppercase and lowercase letter. And we have inserted one more column which we will be naming it as contact. And let's use the formula which is known as trim and select the values Bill Smith and enter. Uh, we can see the spacing has been minimized but we still see it's not proper value so what we are going to do is we will mention proper in front of trim and we are going to press enter next so here you will find out that the values look proper and they have the proper spacing as well let's drag it till the down great so this has been corrected now we will use uh, we will copy all of the things that is in column e and use alt h v v to paste the values and we will be deleting the column d and which will not give us the reference error so next up we have column e and it has the region as well and the department also so what we want to do is we want to split these values so to do that we will insert one more column here and name the column as region and we will move to the data part and go to text to column and we will choose delimited and under that we will replace the this one underscore and we will press the finish option
now you can see the department has been split into region as well as in department so the region thing is missed out we can mention it again region next up we have is some empty cells as you can see in the video so we will be mentioning them as na so what we will do now is select the entire sheet go to find and select go to special and choose the blanks so blanks are chosen now we will go to the blank space here and press na then control plus enter so now you can see all of them are mentioned as na and the sheet is looking fine now so let's just remove the duplicate values from the sheets and we will select the entire sheet we will go to the insert okay insert doesn't have it data we have the remove duplicate option here and we can select the entire sheet click on okay and we have removed three dupes from here so now we have 30 rows so we can clearly see have we have uh, some value error here so it is because it there is a formula written over there and after the division of profit and revenue we are getting this error so what we will do is write the if error statement here and replace if it has any error we are going to replace that error with na so we don't see any error now let's drag the formula till the end wow it looks brilliant So to make this sheet look beautiful we are going to format the headers and we are selecting the entire heading and we will be choosing some colors so blue is the color for me let's choose the text color as well white it is let's remove the grid lines so we can go to the we can select the entire sheet with control a and go to the grid view and grid lines so we will remove the uncheck the grid lines option and that looks so so beautiful all right this was our previous data and this is now so this so 